perfect. So, what is this about? Maybe an hour post chest day? Yeah. Honestly, I'm starting to I'm starting to feel it. I'm freaking hungry. So, I don't actually get to eat the ramen and ground beef combination. I'm honestly, it's kind of tempting me right now. I don't really like looking at it. So instead, I'll eat something a little bit more dieting friendly. So let's see, where's the turkey at? Perfect. So what is this, 10 ounces or so? About five, oh wait a minute. How many ounces is half a pound? Eight? You said eight? The eight ounces, there we go. So about 45 grams of protein. That's about right for a single meal. I mean, if I'm eating 250 in a day, five-ish meals, that sounds about right. So let's see, turkey, lettuce, mustard. I'm gonna hold off with the mayonnaise and the cheese. I mean, I, you guys are really underestimating the amount of calories that are gonna be in condiments. It's, especially in a cutting context, I mean, Usually I talk about people not eating enough food, but what really gets me is somebody talking about how I, I just can't lose weight, I've tried everything. And, you know, I see him put a glob of mayonnaise on a sandwich, tons of buffalo sauce and whatever else they're eating. I mean, that stuff adds up quick. You know, if you're adding, let's just say one squirt of barbecue sauce to like three meals a day, you know, that could be what, 40 grams of carbs total? You know, that's not nothing. So let's see, where the, oh. Here we go. Now this is another key element. Let's, let's get a quick zoom in here. So typical bread, we're looking at about 20 grams of carbs per slice. So that's, that's what, 80 calories? If you're making a normal sandwich, that's 160 calories right there. So instead, on a dieting phase at least, I'll always stick towards keto bread. So instead of this 20 grams of carbs per slice, we're looking at a net of uh, three. I think that's a pretty big change considering the fact that, well, one thing people kind of overlook when they're looking at the macros on the back of, you know, whatever they're eating is the fact that, uh, you know, in s the total amount of carbs is slightly different than the top number. Because let's see, let's look here a little closer. So total carbohydrates, 23 grams. You're not actually absorbing all of those. These three grams of fiber, you know, assuming it's insoluble, that's not, that's not getting digested. That's not getting broken down. That's just sort of passing through you. So that's the primary, you know, ingredient in these. So 10 grams of carbs each, 11 grams each, but eight of those are insoluble fiber. That's not gonna do anything for you energy-wise. So that's, let me try to think. That's what, almost 75% of the bread that's just sort of there is fluff, but you st you'll still feel just as full. So for me, this is an easy substitute. So let's see. I'm, Fuad, I'm not gonna make you a sandwich. Okay. All right, thanks. Honestly, not keen on sharing this little bit of turkey that we have left. You know, I, can, I can just hear the sadness in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. No. Yeah, so. Let's do some quick math here. So three grams of carbs each, one gram of fat, four fat, 12 carbs. All right. Don't, uh, don't lose track of these numbers as we add all this stuff up. And then 45 grams of protein in the turkey, four grams of fat. So let's think about this here. No matter what I eat in a bulking context or in a dieting context, instantly I've got to open up the stupid simple macro tracker. So let's see here. Four grams of fat, four grams of fat. So eight grams of fat total. 12 grams of carbs, 45 grams of protein. And then for that meal, these sandwiches, uh, yeah, some of this, it's, typically it'll add up whatever you eat at once. That's kind of counting two meals at once. 
but let's see, 45, that's what, maybe three, 400 calories? Two sandwiches, perfect. So now all that's left to do is assemble. Assemble and enjoy. I mean, there may be maybe one gram of carb in this lettuce. I'd consider this negligible at best. So not going to track it. That looks about right. Then obviously, zero calories in mustard. It's the perfect condiment. Now we're all done. Cut in half, cut in diagonally. It's not going to affect the calories, so you know, do whatever you want. But that's pretty much a standard dieting meal.